Ian, you brought us to Kim Kerr Precision in Birmingham. Recently, you've sold them this fantastic Akuma General Slave. Now, could you tell me a little bit about the actual company itself and why you actually sold this type of machine to them? Yes, Mark. Um, well, we're at Kim Kerr, as you said. Um, Dean, who's the owner of the company, came to us at Max Show and had previously worked on Akuma machines over in, whilst he was in New Zealand. Since coming back from New Zealand, he wanted to um, he set up his own business basically, and at Mac was looking for new machines to invest in. He came to see us um, more so just out of an exercise of just coming to have a look round, um, but said to myself at the time that he didn't feel that he could afford what he perceived as being an expensive machine tool. Now this type of machine tool that you've got here, this is an entry level, but I also see that it's got driven tooling and a Y-axis. Yeah, there's the Y-axis on the machine, um, driven tooling. So there are different variants of this machine, uh, all come with a tail stock now. Uh, but yeah, so th what it's basically opened up to Dean is, is the fact that he now doesn't have to opt 10 and opt 20 on different machines. So he's now got the option of actually doing the milling on the machine as well. And that's a great benefit with these machines. When you've got the option for milling and turning, it's a, it's a much better advantage, isn't it? Yes, yeah, certainly. Like I say, it's not only the, the time implication, it's also the accuracy as well, because you're not having to take jobs off to then go and put onto milling machines. So you keep the accuracy as well as cutting down the amount of downtime. The type of components that Kim Kerr are manufacturing on this slave, you've got something in your hand to show us. Yes, Mark, this is a component that Dean's making at the moment. Um, basically turned around the outside, but on the inside it's been screw cut and um, splined. So it's a, a very intricate process that we're using and showing the, the accuracy and robustness of the machine. Um, I think it's worth pointing out that this machine uses direct drives on its axes as well. So it allows us for not only that type of feature, but also for polygon turning. So Ian, by Kim Kerr Precision actually investing in this type of machine tool, does it actually offer them extra capacity to offer the marketplace? Yeah, it gives them a lot more capacity and um, Dean is actively looking for more work to come in. So if there are people out there looking, obviously there is extra capacity here should they need it. So the, the sort of backup and training that you actually give your customers, certainly from an entry level point of view, what, what do you actually offer at NCMT? Um, well, basically we, we across all the range of machines, so it doesn't matter whether it's the Genos, which we class as being our, our entry level machine, or we go to some of our full multitasking machines. Um, you get a full training package. Um, we're constantly 24 hours on the telephone, so we're available all day, literally, for any service problems that may occur. Although I think it's worthwhile saying that in the period of time that Dean has had this machine, um, there has been no downtime at all on a, from a service point of view. And one thing I like to say, Ian, is that when you look at smaller subcontractors like Kim Kerr Precision, effectively, the perception is, is this type of machine tool from Akuma, you know, the price, can I afford it? And this is the entry level. But could you tell me, and what would you actually talk to other engineers in the same capacity that this is affordable to use and buy? Yeah, I mean, I think there is a perceived in the marketplace that the Akuma machine is, is a, a blue chip machine only for blue chip companies. Um, hopefully, as you can see with the, the size of the company we're at today, um, you know, there's definitely a marketplace for us in the subcon marketplace around the country. Um, these machines, they come as a whole package, so the, the perceived list price of the machine is is what you actually get ready to go into, into production. Um, whereas you may get, with various other companies, a list price, but then there's a lot more added on options. So I think there is a place for us, but we, people need to contact us or let us know that they're interested in the machines, and we can certainly put a deal together for them. And for any engineers who actually want to see these machines, what can you actually offer them? Yeah, there's several machines in our showroom at the moment, uh, the Genos range, as well as, like I say, our larger multitasking machines, larger laves. So we're, we're based in Coventry. We, we would actively encourage people to come into Coventry, see these machines, um, and get a feel for them and, and have a run around with our applications team. We're more than willing to, to basically operate and, and demonstrate the machines for them.